Hi, I'm Ryan Chang. Uh, do I have to say my job and whatever? Google me. This is Copper Drop. Yeah, okay. Yeah, cop. Cop that. <laughs> it looks good. It's an original silhouette. Um, nice bit. I, I like that they didn't make it look trashy, right? Sometimes these collaborations can end up looking. I'm in a shilling coat phase of my life right now after watching True Detective season three. Uh, with the, <laughs> with the, what do you call it? Like the sheep? Is that sheep wool? Uh, long story short. Uh, uh, long, long story short, uh, drop. The, the wolves thing just kills it for me. Yeah, the wolves pattern is, I that's I can't get behind that one. Let me let me hang on. Wait, I'm not even a hater. Like I respect their artistic vision. I'm not even trying to be like I, I'm I'm not one of those guys who just judges other people's work. Every every you know, I I I appreciate the effort it takes to make anything. That being said, that jacket is not for me. Oh, you don't even need to show me. Yeah, 100% cop it. People don't know what this is. This is legit, like, Asian snack right here. Salted egg, it's over. Salted, salty egg ends the game. That's why you gotta have friends with people of different races, man. They let you try foods you never tried before, and who knows, you might find something you like. I let a female friend try a salty egg bun once, and she bit into it, and she said it, She said it tasted like a blowjob. So I think Yeezys get a lot of, um, they, get, they get a lot of like kudos just for being called Yeezys. I myself, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of the whole thing. This, these look like Crocs to me. So I, I would say drop. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm, not with, I'm not with just buying something that says Yeezy on it, which is apparently is what's been happening. <laughs> Sorry? Would you get them for your kids? No, I wouldn't get them for my kids. Not, not. I get them Crocs instead of that. That, that. <laughs> for me, uh, yeah. That. I'm sorry. Those don't do it for me. I'm sorry, Kanye. Come at me, bro. Oh damn! This is really cool. Uh, that totally is not my style, but I, I appreciate how beautiful that looks. That ja that vest is beautiful. Uh, I would cop that. LeBron James drawn onto a one dollar bill, 100% cop. This thing is beautiful. This thing's a work of art. I didn't even know it was $49. I was already, I was already gonna cop it before I knew the price. The, the, I love that. I love LeBron, I love money. It's a combination, combination of two, two things, things I, I love, love a lot. lot. And it's well drawn as well, that thing's amazing. It's hand drawn. Is yeah, that it's hand? Signed by the artist. Yeah. Oh, cool, yeah, that's unbelievable. It's also technically a federal offense to deface money, but whatever, man, we'll, we'll, we'll count the culture up in here. There's, there's a point in fashion where things become too, uh, too advanced for me, um, way too sophisticated for me. We're, qu we're quickly hitting that point with this item over here. Uh, I'm gonna have to say drop. I'm gonna drop this one. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I myself stopped eating dessert four years ago. Um, so I'm gonna have to drop this, but that's just me personally. Everyone else, I suggest you cop this because this is a, one of the most unstoppable collaborations I've ever heard of. m and ice cream sandwiches? Dude, it's over. That's... You've had them before, right? No, I never had them. But I, I already know that they're going to be delicious. My problem is I can't eat that because if I eat that, I'm going to eat the whole box. So I, I had to stop completely. But they sell them with like single stuff, like ice cream. Yeah, but you know, it's, this is, it's a problem for me. I can't. Ice cream is, is a problem. I had to completely stop eating. I haven't had ice cream in like four years. Recovering. Okay, so I'm in a shirling coat uh, jacket phase again. This matches that aesthetic. Uh, very sensible shoe. Looks really cool. Could wear it to any occasion, I think. Uh, I would say cop this. Just very practical piece. <laughs> practical and stylish. Is my phone annoying people? I can tell. I'm sorry. No, 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 I don't want it. Sometimes I think that we definitely pull our hype behind anything supreme. This is no exception. Uh, I'm gonna have to say cop this because it is beautiful. This is one of um, this is a beautiful jacket, uh, original, um, you know, but not. I don't know. Doesn't it, it's like it? I feel like you, you could wear that without looking like a weirdo, which is my 
which is my measure of how to pick clothing. Yeah, I think it's cool. The fact that this thing isn't riddled in supreme logos is pretty cool. It's nice and understated, down-to-earth aesthetic. You could wear this out and not feel like you're trying to flex on anyone, right? And then people ask you, where'd you get that coat? You go, oh, it's actually a supreme piece. I think it's nice. It's a nice little... Um, I, I like subtlety. Even my own socks that I made, I don't have my, my name all over it. Like, it's just my face. You can't even tell it's my face, actually, if you looked at it. I mean... Yeah, you know, it could be anything. Yeah, it's my own socks. You want to plug those? Yeah, I definitely 100% want to plug these yeah. socks. So you can, so you you want to talk about cop and drop? <laughs> Ronnie Chang socks in five colorways, made by adults in Australia. Uh, available on my website. I think it's twelve dollars. I think. Hey everyone, so I have a Netflix comedy special, Asian Comedian Destroys America, available on Netflix right now. Also, you can watch me on The Daily Show on Comedy Central, uh, on the website and the app, and I think YouTube. Cool. Awesome, thank you, that's great.